Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. So friends, let's discuss the first root synthesis of the 6 mercaptopurine. 6 mercaptopurine, it's a purine analog and it can synthesize from the hypoxanthin. And hypoxanthin This is the hypoxanthin purine ring. This purine ring, hypoxanthin, have two rings, ring A and ring B. Ring A is the pyrimidine ring and ring B is the imidazole ring. As here, the nitrogen are at the 1-3 position, that's why it's imidazole. If single nitrogen is there, then that's azole and if on the 1 and 2, then it will be known as the pyrazole. So here 1 at 3, so imidazole, P pyrimidine, imidazole, ring A is pyrimidine, ring B is imidazole. Combinedly, this structure is known as the hypoxanthin. Now this hypoxanthin, when reacted with the phosphoryl chloride, POCl3, phosphoryl chloride, in the presence of pyridine in the presence of pyridine then this what happened this hydroxyl group will be replaced by the chloride group here so the next structure will be here here chloride now this is 6-chloropurine, 6-chloropurine. This 6-chloropurine when again reacted with the sodium thiocyanate, N-A-S-C-N, sodium thiocyanate. This chloride group will remove through this sodium and removed as a NaCl. And what happened? This SCN, thiocyanate group will replaced here and get attached at this position. After this, what happened? NH, this N, this and this. Here, what will attach? SCN, 6-thiocyanate purine. Now this 6 thiocyanate purine when get hydrolyzed by the water hydrolysis then what happens that SCN group thiocyanate group will get converted into the thiol group and it becomes like this. Here SH N, NH. This is this is the six mercaptopurine. Six mercaptopurine. So this is the very basic simple steps synthesis of the 6 mercaptopurine what happened firstly hypoxanthin reacted with the phosphoryl chloride in the presence of pyridine and form 6 chloropurine when this 6 chloropurine reacted with the sodium thiocyanate then thiocyanate group will replace the chloride and form the 6 thiocyanate purine on the hydrolysis this get converted and form 6 mercaptopurine this is the first route for the synthesis of 6 mercaptopurine. Let's discuss next one. Second route of the 6 mercaptopurine synthesis. This is very easy steps. I hope so. You like it. Now, here, 
this synthesis start from NH2 NH2 this is the 6 chloro numbering 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 chloro 4 5 diamine 6 chloro 4 5 diamine since it's a ring pyrimidine ring Six chloro four five diamine pyrimidine. Now, when this six chloro four five diamine pyrimidine reacted with the KSH, then what happens? This potassium will get removed out with this Cl and removed as the potassium chloride. This SH group will attached here, and your intermediate product here will be and and NH2 NH2 and SH this is 6 thiol 6 thiol named it 6 thiol 4 5 diamine pyrimidine now next in the next step this 6 chloro 4 5 diamine pyrimidine reacted with the concentrated formic acid concentrated formic acid hcooh now what happens this hcooh reacted with this amino group and the intermediate product again will becomes SH and NH NH CH this and here your another amino group this intermediate product will be formed here now on the reduction of this intermediate we carried out the reduction on reduction your 6 mercaptopurine will form N A sorry. N here N H N this is the purine 6 thiol or 6 mercaptopurine 6 mercapto purine or purine 6 thiol another name so this is the root 2 synthesis of the 6 mercapto purine now another have the root 3 root third of the 6 mercapto purine synthesis very easy single step reaction here what happened OH and NH and H. This is purine six all. Purine six all. This purine six all when reacted with the P2S5 that is phosphorus pentasulfide phosphorus pentasulfide on the reaction of phosphorus pentasulfide your purine 6 thiol or 6 mercaptopurine will form here
एस एच दिस इज योर सिक्स मरकेप्टोप्यूरिन सो दीज आर थ्री रूट फॉर द सिंथेसिस ऑफ सिक्स मरकेप्टोप्यूरिन यू कैन चूज एनी वन वेरी इजी वेरी कन्वीनियंट थैंक यू